Welcome back viewers. Today we are going to have a discussion on Lemma 2 of Kalin's theorem. And the Lemma 2 says that uh, every language that can be defined by a transition graph or TG can also be defined by a regular expression. So we can prove this lemma too by constructive algorithms by following uh, uh, for every transition graph we will follow a finite number of steps and these are the steps. In step 1 uh, because in transition graph there is possibility that it can have more than one starting state and more than one uh, final state. So in step 1 we transform a transition graph with a single start state like if you, if you have multiple start states like this then we uh, transform it into single start state with null transition because null means free write so you can uh, move from here to here uh, without any input in the second step we uh, transform it into a single final state like here we have two final states so we add a null transition here and make a single final state like this and then in step 3 we combine all the edges that have same starting and ending states or in other words we combine the edges which are parallel like these three edges have same starting and ending state that is x or in other words these are parallel edges so we combine them with plus signs so all the parallel edges are combined with plus signs similarly these two are parallel so we here we have this plus signs and in step 4 we eliminate the states one by one and while eliminating the states you know uh, you come across the edges which are in series so when you eliminate a state you uh, concatenate the uh, strings or the input letters so instead of having plus sign we actually concatenate or you say we take the product of these two yeah simply you concatenate so here you know when we remove this two so it will become r1 r3 so here when you remove this two so it will become r1 r3 and for this edge which is a loop and it is an optional loop so for an optional loop you represent it with clean star like this so you can have 0 to many R2. So as you know in theory of automata, Klinsta means 0 to many. So this was step 4 and in step 5, and this is, these are some few more examples of step 4. Uh, uh, like here if we want to remove this state 2, then you will have to figure out all the possible path. Like one path will be this, then this, then this and for this path 1 2 3 you will have r1 then loop on r2 clean star then r3 so this is it and for this path r1 r2 have 1 2 4 this is 1 2 4 and this is 1 2 5 next we have another example of state elimination here let's say we have to eliminate this state so what we will have to do, we will have to find all the possible path from state 1 and state 4 and 5. So from state 1, let's see on the next slide, here from state 1 we have two path, one is from 1, 2 and 4 like this, next is 1, 2 and 5 like this and for 1, 2, 4 we will have a b then clean star of a because it is a loop then b a it will be 1 2 4 so we have we will have an edge from 1 to 4 this one a b a star b a so this comes here next we have 1 2 5 it will come a b a star and b and this is it a b a star and b and then we have two path from 3 one is from 3 to 4 and 3 to 4 will be 3 to 4 will be triple b 
A star and B A. So this is it. And next will be 3 to 5. And 3 to 5 will be it will be A star and B. So it will be it will be A star A B. So this is how you can eliminate the states. And next we see a full example to practice all these concepts. So here we have a practice question. And here you have to convert this TG into a regular expression. So we will follow all those steps that we have discussed earlier. Like here we have two and no single starting states that okay, step one is done. But here we have two ending states. So we have to form a single ending state. So we will move a sign from here. And here we I have an ending state, accepting state, and with null transition we move here. And now you as you see that here these two uh, paths are parallel. So we will simply remove this these two uh, states and it will become from here to here it will become a a plus b b so we will get like this again this comma is actually parallel thing a a plus b b then we have this state a a a plus b and then we have this double a plus double b so now we have to remove this state and to remove this state uh, we will apply a loop over here so it will become like this double a double b then for this a plus b we will apply a clean star because it is an option loop then this double a plus double b and finally we have single star state and single index state and no intermediate state so the expression written on this edge would be the final regular expression so next we see another example uh, this is a final example uh, this is a tg for an even even language so here again we have to have a separate starting state and ending state so let's jump over to the uh, solutions so here it is a solution so in first step we make separate starting state and ending state like this then we have to eliminate the states one by one so let's say first of all we eliminate this state so to eliminate this state we will have this expression then because this is a loop over here we will take clean star of this expression and then this expression so this is it so we remove this state and represent a loop over here and on this loop edge we write this expression so again we have this intermediate state we have to remove this as well because uh, finally we will have just a single start and single ending state and no intermediate state so to remove so to remove this intermediate state we have two parallel edges this one and this one so we will add a plus sign in between these two expressions like this this one is the so this came over here and this came over here so we uh, combined these two edges and now we have to remove this state so to remove the state we will simply remove it and because it is a loop so we will add a clean star around it like this so this is it so if you feel any confusion uh, please feel free to write in the comment box